So this is the Motorola Zoom. As you can see, this is the new Android Honeycomb platform. This means we don't have any keys on the device. So it's the latest Android 3. We've got multiple panels here, which you can scroll across. And we've got soft keys for control. On the front, we have the two megapixel web camera. On the rear, we have a five megapixel camera, LED flash, and twin stereo speakers. On the bottom, we have USB connection for sideloading content or synchronizing with your laptop. We have HDMI out, and we also have your charging port. So this has got a 3250 milliamp hour battery in it, and you can charge it fully within three and a half hours. So just very quickly to show you some of the applications here. Because we have a dual core processor, you can multitask. So for example, I could be playing music. So I'm just going to select some music here. I will play that music through the speakers. At the same time, while the music's playing, I could go into my applications and I could be browsing the internet with the music in the background. Proper multitasking. I can quickly access all my recent applications and I can turn the music off and go back to my browsing. So it's a new user experience aimed at making it really easy to use, really fast, really quick. And that's why we call it Motorola Zoom. Okay. Also, you need the audio. Uh, Deutsch, that means the audio or? Polish language. Polish language, so English, okay. okay. All right. So, I would like to introduce to you, I would like to introduce to you the Galaxy on Fire 2. Uh, it came out on iPhone uh, in October. Then, afterwards, we did an iPad version that was optimized and featured uh, better graphics. And now, the NVIDIA Tegra chip on this uh, Zoom Motorola. Um, actually enabled us to quadruple the number of textures and meshes. We got shader support, we got specular mapping, everything that a gamer could want. Um, let me show you a bit of the graphics, what it looks like. We got it on out of fire right now. It's essentially a space adventure. Maybe I should, we can switch between the controls. For the presentation, it probably makes more sense to put it on touch. And then you can actually steer it like a console. So you have, some, you have a bit of a PlayStation feeling. Uh, just to give you, basically, we can do an action freeze. Uh, you can do, essentially, a screenshot. You can post a screenshot on Facebook, if you'd like. So it gives you a it's also helpful for us to showcase what the graphics engine can really do. So, and we can see here we're actually being shot at. So maybe it's time to get to get into a, a fight. Let's see if we can hit some of those enemies, enemy ships. Ah, the problem is the controls are inverted. Let me switch back to. Now I'm more familiar with this. Okay. Good. Well, and here it crashes. <laughs> Is there enough you want to show more? Maybe space station or. It's going, to be, uh, it's going to be available in about 8 to 10 weeks. Uh, it's going to be on the Android market. Uh, it features Honeycomb 3.0. And uh, as far as I hear, it's going to be uh, added to the Tegra zone in the, on the Android market. Allegedly, there's going to be an Android, uh, Tegra zone along with all the other premium apps, uh, with all the other apps, uh, special, uh, special versions with the Tegra chip. And uh, we're here at the space station. 
This is this is at the space station. It's essentially your mission hub. You can visit the hangar, buy new ships, buy new equipment. You can uh, buy, buy buy and sell commodities. So it's not just an arcade shooter. It is essentially a game that is somewhat in the tradition of elite freelancer, wing commander. It's a space adventure. You can trade. You can uh, drill asteroids. You can collect iron, you can uh, do all kinds of stuff. We have at least 10 hours of uh, gaming content, uh, story driven, uh, but we've had users play it for 100 hours or more. And uh, there's plenty of content in it. And obviously, uh, at some point, I guess we will be doing some expansions on that as well. This is the idea, this is the map. Currently, it shows you the uh, solar system you're currently in. It allows you to fast travel to other planets. And also to give you an idea of the size of the game. It's big. There's stuff, there's plenty of stuff to explore. Yeah, you're welcome.